My brothers and sisters in Christ, after a quiet week in, in terms of the liturgical calendar, uh, Monday was the last day we had a, a saint on the calendar to celebrate, today the church celebrates the memorial of St. Gregory the Great. St. Gregory was a, a pope of the 6th century. He actually died right at the beginning of the 7th century, uh, a couple years into it. But St. Gregory was a, a very pivotal figure. He's most famous for helping to, to kind of centralize or, or streamline the form of the celebration of the liturgy, uh, of his administrative feats, and his, his theological brilliance. But one thing that a lot of people don't know is that one of the titles that we use to refer to the Pope actually was the creation of St. Gregory the Great. And that is servants, servant of the servants of God. It was a very fitting title for Gregory as someone who himself served in so many different ways before he became Pope. He was a civil servant for a long time and place of government. And this of course was in the time in the, the, the sixth century. This was after the, the collapse of the Western Roman Empire. And so by this time, the empire's kind of seat, the, the center of imperial powers in Constantinople in the east. And so the, that has put the West into a bit of disarray in terms of its, its civilization, its organization of things. But as a leader during this time, he then, uh, as he entered the religious life with the Benedictines, was ultimately called to serve the, the Pope of the time as, as a deacon of Rome and to be his envoy. And so he spent a lot of time going between the Pope and Constantinople, uh, helping uh, with dialogue with the Eastern churches before he himself ultimately uh, was called to, to be Pope himself. And so his different forms of service throughout his life, I think, deeply influenced uh, his service as the, the Bishop of Rome, as, as the Pope. And so while he did these things as a, as a talented administrator, as a theologian, uh, liturgist, you know, all these things that he's known for, uh, this, this idea that he never let go of, that he was the servant of the servants of God, was true to the gospel, true to the model of leadership that, that Jesus himself put forward, and is something very important to us to this very day. It's important for the Pope, but it's important for all, not only who would leave, lead, but even for those who would serve at the heart of true discipleship. I am called to serve. As Christ has done for me, I am called to do for the other. And so we pray that through the intercession of St. Gregory the Great, that we may ask less often how I can be served, but how I may be of service to others, that the ways in which our, my Lord Jesus has so blessed me and cured for me, I may in charity turn and do for another. St. Gregory the Great, pray for